family. I've been asked to give the devotional this week. It's on Ephesians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. And it reads, So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple of the Lord in whom you are also being built together into a dwelling of God in the spirit. Pretty incredible. There's a lot we can learn about these verses. We can learn about the exciting results of the union of God has provided in his son, Jesus. These results should encourage us and give us strength, even in the hard times. Through God's grace, anything is possible. The first result is that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord is considered a citizen within the kingdom of God. This is a pretty incredible truth. Second, we are in his family. God is our father, and we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. This is one family, one church, and the foundation was laid by the New Testament apostles and prophets. The foundation is the Lord Jesus Christ. The church is built on the foundation and is the result of our union. Picture a solid cement foundation with a beautiful house built on it. The cement foundation is Christ, and the house is us, the church. Brothers and sisters in Christ, united. Jesus is our cornerstone of our house. He binds us together and protects us. Nothing can tear us down. I challenge each of you this week to be encouraged by this knowledge that Christ is our foundation and Jesus is our cornerstone. Remember that our final home is not a rickety shack built on sinking sand, but a glorious mansion built on the foundation of Christ that nothing can shake us. I hope you all remember that this week and just have a good week.